Hello my friends, welcome back to a brand new video up at the race course. Uh, today, or in this video, we were uh, invited up to mostly showcase their after party uh, rather than the other horse related stuff that we've been doing. But of course, you can't highlight uh, an event at the race course without showing horse racing. Uh, fun fact though, <clears throat> because we were there later, uh, I decided to start the shoot at six o'clock now normal process would be you know film people gathering quite slow then film people you know getting ready for the first races nice easy into the first race we got up there at six o'clock very different energy very different kind of feeling because we were literally right before the first race um got some establishers uh, where i could uh, but i also wanted to try a little bit of a different a, a little bit of a different approach which was kind of throwing the audience a little bit into the action uh, specifically that maybe have either previously already seen heard etc uh, and seen some of the other content where it would what it would have got quite samey but also i also wanted to establish obviously there were horse races but as well i wanted to try it to see how i felt in the edit and if we do the plan is in theory to uh, create a end of season video as well. These were some of the other shots I was looking for. Uh, vantage point wise, really, really great up here where we are at the moment for the stairs. What we noticed though is that the looking down on people on the ground level, it can it's it's a very steep angle if they're directly below you, so it's not a very flattering angle. And also the sun was quite wash washing out quite a lot of the footage as well from uh my partner who was taking photos at the time she's it, it looked like they were actually came out better uh, but from a video point of view they were quite washed out obviously it, so that's why we moved a little bit further down obviously if you're going to um shoot something like this try and position the sun or position your subjects in a way so they're being uh kind of not necessarily backlit but side lit more so the other half of the parade ring this side is actually a lot better and a lot more flattering but i also wanted to show that it's an evening race so the, you know it was what it was a little bit later on uh, i also got the opportunity because the sun was actually out to do um some kind of starburst-esque uh pieces with the sun as well but i wanted to see what this would look like got these great shots of the horses running out to the start line And then uh, before they came back race-wise, we came up to uh, kind of overlook the uh, finish line, which we had done before, because I was trying to get as much variation as I could, because I knew I had a good amount of time to kill. Uh, so, because obviously we were there for the after party, which would happen after the race is were basically completed. This was me uh, heading down after that race uh, to get the lineup shot uh, with the cathedral. And then I also managed to get a stall opening uh, shot as well uh, a little bit later, later on, because which was actually really fortunate. Kind of unfortunate, unfortunate, depending on how you look at it. Uh, but I'll spare a little bit more when we get there. But in Crux, it was that because of the stalls in the way they were, they were facing uh, away uh, from the direction I thought the horse was going to travel in. So I was very fortunate enough to actually talk to some people down there and be like, oh, the horse is going to go out the other side, which was really beneficial because of where the sun was, because I then got that flare through uh, the stalls, seeing the horses uh, leave. This is just some of the guys uh, coming down, I think, on the third third race of the day. Um, and what I've tried to do in these films is create small sequences. So sometimes I'm trying to showcase maybe one of the races from three locations which is obviously not necessarily uh so this is the uh, tighter shot that i really really like um but obviously you're not gonna be able to do that because you can't be in three places at once per race and as i was heading back this is where i started gaining those kind of starbursts so you achieve this uh depending on the lens you're using uh, by stopping down so i go all the way to f22 and then I try and find some foreground to break up the sun. But also you do need um, to think about also uh, what's your exposure going to be like, etc. Those kind of things. But it can really break up and showcase the sun because I find otherwise it's just kind of a blob. Um, and it's not very aesthetically pleasing as well. 
But then we move back to the parade ring because, um, as I say, we're still just trying to look for uh, different different perspectives, different... We're trying to gain as much kind of filler uh, as we possibly can uh, to go in the first, like, small edit because normally when I do uh, a 90-second edit, for me, story-wise, it's actually 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, especially when showcasing something like this. Uh, we also then kind of want I was thinking how can I get another approach how can I get another perspective and I hadn't filmed from um, the stairs leading up to the bars uh, where you can just see over to where the horses are so we hanged around here uh, got the horses coming out and then obviously coming back as well beautiful light on these guys here hence hence why i used it didn't end up actually using it in the edit but the sun popped out and it was starting to go golden hour e uh, in that respect as well and i think this perspective really added some scale because uh, we saw all of the people then i swapped to the 50 mil wanted to gain uh, a couple of shots and unfortunately i then realized i didn't have a neutral density filter so i ended up swapping back uh, but we do pull out the 50 a little bit later again another shot because the as you can see here, there's a lot of clouds, so I was debating, am I going to get another sun shot? Uh, the sun did pop out, thankfully, towards golden hour. Uh, so a lot of this footage is really, really lovely. And this is the race where I started actually getting the stalls, because of how close the stalls were. In comparison, they're normally a good mile or two away, um, which is a long, long walk. Uh, and this is the actual back side of the stalls, where the horses actually go in. And I just managed to get in the right position as they head round. So they actually, on the last race of the day, uh, they head round, they go around the corner, and then they come back on themselves. Um, so I aligned with the cathedral there on the uh, wider lens, so some people noticed, some people didn't, hence why I had the 135mm shot. Uh, and then I just got a little bit of setup because you still want to tell that story. And I felt that it would be a little bit jump cutty between just going from horse racing to necessarily them them setting up and unfortunately unfortunately depending on some people are obviously just here for the horse racing uh, so they were heading out i wasn't 100 sure whether i was going to be able to get a kind of ending leaving shot so hence why i got that ended up positioning myself in such a way where i could see all the people um to to show distance and because and, um, we went on the balcony looking down always look for different perspectives then wanted to get some tights of the dj um who was a wonderful uh, tv celebrity uh so in that respect as well uh, so it was important to show who he was uh being ross kemp and you know showcase him so i got the 200 out and uh, kind of you know really zoomed in to showcase him uh, and then also then swapped to the 50 mil because the light was drastically going down uh quickly here and then it was just about picking bits of behavior people having a laugh, having fun, etc. Being aware that it was kind of a, uh, again, as I talked about in the last race course video, there's a moral, kind of a moral obligation uh, to, to not articulate or show people in a negative light. So keep in mind that when uh, you are. And also, uh, if you're a videographer or a photographer, you're going to get asked repeatedly whether uh, someone, uh, take my picture, take my picture, etc. And it's kind of your moral gauge on, on whether you should or shouldn't there. Uh, but as I said, with the majority of the time here, the or all the footage that I'm showing you, uh, I should say, is, you know, just people having fun, people enjoying the music that was played, etc. Uh, I'm showing interactions, people enjoying it, partners enjoying it, uh, groups enjoying it. There was a couple of hen parties, etc. That kind of thing. And obviously in the edit, this is going to be heavily montaged. I was heavily montaged. So I'm just trying to get as much coverage as I can whilst I've got the 50 mil on. And then I'll swap a little bit later on uh, onto the Sigma 18 to 35 because it's getting probably a little bit too dark soon to use the 18 to 200. Obviously I can use it, but I would then have to pump my ISO significantly higher uh, in in that respect as well so a lot more dancing shots and around this point i was thinking to myself okay i'm getting quite a lot of the same 
So I need to change my perspective. So that's when I suggested, why don't we then head up and try and gain some elevation? Um, and of course, this is when it got darker and darker and darker. So I wanted to see that transition with all the lights and etc. Um, that was happening. So I was moving slowly further back uh, to gain some more context. So I was trying to get shots to show crowd plus the, uh, the DJ. And then I noticed that I was kind of getting a bit sick of the 50 mil and noticing I was getting more samey samey. So I wanted to get some wider perspectives. So I switched back to the Sigma 18 to 35. Did a couple of laps or two. I went back to the front and got a wide, some wider perspectives. Uh, again, people enjoying themselves, trying to get some wide crowd shots. A little bit of, uh, kind of showing the security aspects there, which is always important. Again, people enjoying themselves. And those uh, kind of, uh, I guess they're grandstands or like uh, balconies behind the previous shot was uh, where we ended up actually heading up to to get uh, the wider perspective to show kind of wide, you know, crowds and, and, and showcasing how many people were actually at uh, the event as well. I was starting to do that here, uh, but obviously it's, uh, I don't know when I film this what I'm going to want for the edit. So I would rather say okay well let me film this maybe i'll find a way to put it in or put put it in and that's something i would say if you're listening to this or watching this and you are you know maybe getting into filmmaking give yourself as much coverage as possible or your editor as much coverage as possible because they're gonna really thank you in the um, post edit uh, so again same reason i swap back to the 50 mil these are both really low light lenses they're really really great um, to get that different perspective. I ended up, I think, finishing most of the shoot on the 50 mil, And then we headed down because I wanted a perspective. Again, it's all about changing perspective. I wanted to see if I could get some symmetry, but also see some natural behavior. So this guy's filming the event on his phone, that kind of thing. And then uh, these guys who were on... Uh, I think their partner shoulders or friend shoulders, etc., really jumped out to me. So again, they're above the crowd, so it would really show kind of that party atmosphere. And what I really did notice was with the 50 mil, the lights that they had by the DJ when they're out of focus, they really pop uh, in regards to the colours as well. But that is wrapping up the end of this shoot. So if you did find the voiceover and this uh, kind of BTS breakdown uh, helpful, I'll be shooting uh, a lot more and I'll be doing a lot more of these. So why not, um, you know, follow, subscribe, all those lovely things. And uh, I got some ending shots uh, as we were leaving. But thank you ever so much for watching. If you would like to hear how video can help your business in 2024, I'll leave my information somewhere around this video and I'll see you very, very soon.